Hello, welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, um, first and foremost, we want to know when was the Israel Uniting Christ was established mm -hmm. and where it started. Oh. Yeah. It has a long history. Uh, the organization itself started in the year. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. It started the organization okay. itself started in 2003. Okay. However, the teachings started back during the late uh, 1900s. Okay. So, okay. what year was it? Like around, in the, you have one of our elders uh, named Albert Bivens. He taught between around 1940, 1950, 1960. Then we had other elders that came up. Where? Uh, oh, from the South in America. They traveled to New Jersey, New York, New Jersey, and began to really promote it. So uh, tell us the name and objective of this um, Israel in Christ. Okay. Uh, the Bible is about, our aim is gathering the oppressed and enslaved people, which are those who suffer colonialism and slavery. That's our people. That's not everybody on the earth. Uh, we are the Israelites. This is why I started off about color, so you can identify with the people of the Bible. Then I showed you colonialism and slavery in the Bible. So that identifies us again. So when Christ said he's only for the lost sheep of Israel, we're the lost sheep. So we must return. So our goal, our objective is to gather our people as the Israelites. We can never unite as Nigerian Baptists or Pentecostals, or African American Catholics. That's not biblical. We all must have one identity, one faith, which is keeping God's commandments. These religions were all in, it divides us. It divides the Pentecostal from the Baptist, from the Catholic. Divide and conquer. That's how they conquered us. So we must unite as one under God's commandments as a and during your preaching session, you see, you gave an example about, like, for example, CIA having diamonds, but seem to be one of the poorest countries mm. in the world. Give us some um, insight on our revelation. Okay. Uh, Sierra Leone, just like South Africa, is rich. They call it, their move is called blood diamonds, where people lose their lives for th this mineral. And in America, diamonds, for example, in America and Europe, diamonds can cost thousands upon thousands of dollars, but the people working the mines make mid dollars, make no money. Your, the roads are not built, the, the, the schools are dilapidated here. When the minerals you have could fund the entire country, but your leaders and politicians don't speak against the European powers, which do these things to us, you understand? So the Bible reveals it to us, so it's our job to say it so that it could spark in your mind to speak with us, join our voice, which is God's voice. You understand? And achieving. Yes. <laughs> so what will we be looking forward to in Sierra Leone in terms of having um, more membership, believing in your ideology, yes. your faith? Right. Uh, you can expect more of it. There's going to be a fight. When I say fight, because our people have been indoctrinated, they're going to challenge us because we are, are going against the normal establishment. It's go, this is a spiritual fight. So people will come against us like for Christmas. Many people will fight us against Christmas, against the color of Christ. That's just an example. So they will follow after we can further prove to them that what we're saying is of God in the Bible and that what they're following is not biblical. Really yeah. You have the hope to actually because you need to bring on board even the politicians because when, for example, in certain setting, people they believe in politicians, they believe in the doctrines that have been taught by their pastors. Mm -hmm. So how do you hope to ensure you bring all of them on board? Oh, Christ said in John 10, my sheep will hear my voice. Strangers they will not follow. I have to believe that. Our, our political leaders are puppets for European powers. Uh, as you know, Boko Haram, Muslim, they are funded by the West. They have weapons. How are they getting these expensive weapons? From the West, America, Europe, they give them these high-tech weapons. So many of your political leaders know that. What America and England, Britain, all what they do, they find certain leaders that will obey them. Like you see what's going on in Haiti with the Civil War uh, taking place. Uh, America is the one, and not just, when I say America, I usually put them all in a ball, to my Europeans, Caucasians. 
they pick puppets or leaders that they can control or put in places of power. Uh, for example, the African Union, in Ethiopia, the African Union, built by China. Why did you need China to build that? You have diamonds, gold. Why do you need China? The streets here being built by China. Why do you need China? You have the resources here. Nobody ever questions this. Okay, you have to not, it's, unless you're telling me everyone in Africa is just so stupid. We don't know how to make cement. I know how to make cement. I can make a street. But no one, I, I, and if I lived here, or if our people that are here, you have the resources to fund everything you need. No, you don't have to go outside to America. But what America does, they put boundaries in military, uh, they cause sanctions. But if you don't obey them, they crush you. You understand? It's a harsh reality, but that's why we must return to the Bible. It's our only hope. We don't have the military might to go against America or Britain. We don't. So we must return to the one true God. Humble ourselves. He said, then I will fight for you. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.